We're asked to use the graph of the line to complete the table of values and write an equation. Looking at the table, we are given x equals 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. We need to determine the corresponding y values by locating the points on the graph with the given x values. We find the x values along the horizontal axis. x equals 0 is located here at the origin. If we go straight up to the graph, where x equals 0, we find the point on the graph where x equals 0, and notice how the corresponding y value is 26. The order of pair for this point is 0, 26. Next, we have x equals 1. Here's x equals 1. And this is the point on the graph where x equals 1. And notice how the corresponding y value is 22. And therefore, the ordered pair is 1, 22. Next, we have x equals 2. This is the point on the graph where x equals 2. Notice how the corresponding y value is 18. Next, we have x equals 3. Here is the point on the graph where x equals 3. And the corresponding y value is 14. Next, we have x equals 4. Here is the point on the graph where x equals 4. And notice how the corresponding y value is 10. And now we can complete the table using these ordered pairs. When x equals 0, y is 26. When x equals 1, y is 22. When x equals 2, y is 18. When x equals 3, y is 14. And when x equals 4, y is 10. And now let's work on determining the equation. Analyzing the y values, notice how they are decreasing by 4 each time x increases by 1. And therefore, we can say the constant rate of change is equal to negative 4 divided by positive 1, or just negative 4, which is also the slope of the line. Also notice how when x is equal to 0, the corresponding y value is 26. This is often referred to as the initial or starting value when it comes to an application. And also notice the ordered pair 0, 26 is the vertical or y-intercept. So we can say the y values start at 26 and then decrease by 4 each time x increases by 1, and therefore y is equal to 26 minus 4 times x. Notice when x is equal to 0, we have y equals 26 minus 4 times 0, which is 26. When x is equal to 1, we have y equals 26 minus 4 times 1, which is equal to 26 minus 4, which is 22. When x equals 2, we have y equals 26 minus 2 times 4, which is 26 minus 8, which is 18, and so on. So this is the equation for the table, as well as the graph of the line. However, sometimes we'll see these two terms written in the opposite order. We can also say y is equal to negative 4x plus 26. This form of linear equation is referred to as slope-intercept form. I hope you found this helpful.